guys, it's Gear Change here back with another video and today I'm doing my first ever car review. I'm here with Ethan and his 2010 Ford Focus XR5 Turbo. So uh, what mods have you done to the car? Um, so I've got the basics, you know, intake, exhaust, chucked on a couple of wheels, um, a few other things here and there, nothing too crazy. Sounds good. Alright, yeah. let's get driving. Sweet. So yours is also tuned by Dream Science? Yep, that's right. Just running the stage one tune at the moment. So it makes more than enough power for a daily for yeah, sure. Yeah, that's right, exactly. It's not need, don't need any more to be honest. As you guys will see, I did uh, capture some flyby sort of footage and some footage of Ethan's like intake. Um, it's got a slightly different setup to me, but it still sounds really, really good. Um, I'd say it's pretty hard to actually make an XR5 sound bad, in all honesty. <laughs> so, yeah. So, we're just going to kind of take the car for a little run. Um, I guess, yeah, talk about possibly what Ethan's got planned for the car and stuff like that. As I said, I've never done a review before. Um, the little Insta360 was having some issues with capturing everything, but it's, uh, it's back up and running, which is really good. So, we'll see how it goes. So, in terms of plans for the car for the future, um, you did mention that you are getting coilovers soon. Yeah, that's right. So, have you got those coilovers? Yeah, so I've got the coilovers at the moment and they'll be being installed next week, so pretty excited for that. Yeah, that should be good. Yeah, I still need to um, lower my own car eventually, but, you know, good things take time. Yeah, that's right. I, exactly. I do have some things in the works, so... say the power in between those two both being on stage one is quite similar yeah they're pretty similar um, this would obviously have more torque being a five cylinder yeah, yeah definitely a bit more torque in the lower end um, and the golf seems to pull a bit on the higher yep but very similar very similar yeah both nice little hatchbacks yeah is his golf auto or manual uh, he's got an auto yeah, auto, yeah. Nice. DSG so it'd be very very great very especially on, that, drive. on the big yeah. The Dream Science tunes are pretty good for a daily. Oh. I haven't actually been in an OEM denied XR5, so I can't compare the two. But I'd say being in your one, which is a daily stage one, and then me driving my own one, I'd say they're, they're pretty good. Like, you know, they make yeah. good power. They're pretty easy to make good power out of with a few bolt-ons. Oh, sure. So, you know. Um, I don't know, there's a discrepancy on whether XR5s are reliable or not. I'd say my luck's pretty good. As soon as I did my exhaust, it popped up. Alright, so. oh, yeah, because I've only got a cat back at the moment, so. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think since yours is tuned, it might not even pop up at all. Because when I did all mine, as I told you earlier, I did the exhaust and the intake about a week, week and a half apart. So, for the week I had the exhaust, it was great, and then the engine light popped up. Alright. Oh, so, panic. 
manic mood yeah. sort of kind of set in and I was just kind of wondering oh something wrong with the car and then once I did a scan I think it said it was like the oxygen sensor which is just because it's got my high flick cut back yeah. so but yeah no, other than that I haven't really had too many issues it's just been pretty reliable pretty fun yeah. I mean I'd say for like a hatchback they sound good they look pretty good for their age and they handle quite well too guys will see I did add some sort of footage showing off Ethan's car his really nice rims what rims are they? Uh, they are Koya SF13 yeah very nice and he's also painted the calibers yellow which is a really really nice combination to be honest oh, yeah. I don't think I've seen it on too many other black XR5s to be fair no. I've got the green which matches quite well with the blue but yeah if I had a black like a panther black one it would definitely be yellow I feel mm. like that's a really really nice sort of color combination and with your rims it looks really nice oh, too yeah yeah I love it all the three colours just contrast each other very nicely. Very nicely, yeah, no, it's good. Yeah, it'd be very cool to like review like something like an RS to sort of compare the two. Mm. I mean, they are very similar cars, but also very different, especially yeah. stock. Oh. So, what do you average on fuel and other things like that, like maintenance? Have you said it's been pretty good? Yeah, so fuel, you know, it's not too bad, I guess. Average about 400 a tank. That's good. Bit, so. Especially for a tune car, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad, I mean. Yeah, I think mine's similar. I think I get about 4, maybe 410. Right. It, it all depends on how you drive it. Oh, okay. I guess that sort of depends on everything. Like if you're kind of sitting in 4, 5, 6 mm. gear and kind of just humming along, you'll probably yeah. have better economy than someone who's you know, flogging it first, yeah. second, third, trying to make some noise, but yeah, yeah, either way, I'd say they're still pretty good on economy for they are. I mean, I don't think any five-cylinder really is designed to be fuel, nah. fuel efficient. Nah. I think that's like one of the big reasons why they sort of stopped making five-cylinders. Yeah. <laughs> well, most manufacturers anyway, but they got Audi who's left, to my knowledge, so yeah. yeah. Hopefully the sticky mount is holding up quite well for you guys who are watching the video. It seems pretty steady. I'll double check the little preview camera. Seems pretty good. We're just kind of taking it for a little sort of spin in a few different areas. Ethan will probably give it a boot here and there in the video, but we don't want to be too naughty. You know, there might be cops around. I don't think there will, but hopefully not, but who knows. It does seem to pop a fair bit, to be honest, yeah. especially for the stock. It is a completely stock exhaust. No, so it's got a Miltec catback. Right, so it's got the Miltec, yeah. yeah. So it does make a few pops and crackles, yeah. yeah. It's one of the more tamer exhaust setups, I reckon. Yeah. It's not a crazy amount of noise, but... It's, it's like enough. loud enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably similar with my Empire performance, for those of you guys who have actually heard my car. It's, it's, it's loud enough when you want it to be, but also it can be nice and quiet, which I think is like a good thing. So you don't, you don't want to annoy everyone everywhere you go. No, 100%. Unless you do want to do that. And then you'd probably be better off getting like a KMS exhaust system or something like that that's really loud. Yeah. But yeah, I'd say Empire and Miltec are pretty, pretty good. Yeah. Not crazy loud, but honestly loud enough. Yeah. Fun enough to. And they just require like a good note. I don't tend to notice 
just heaps of talks, dude. I don't know if you're the same. Yeah, no, it's I, pretty tame. I, I hear some people say they're quite aggressive. When it's raining, I do. If it's oh, raining yeah. and it's like I'm really bucketing down and I'm putting my foot down, I'll hear it. But if it's just a dry day like it is today, it's just sort of sunny with a bit of cloud. It's not too bad at yeah. all.
is a jackaroo. Jackaroo 